I hope this video helps you figure out how to replace the window balancers much easier than when I first tried. I'll save my rant for the end and uh, let's get started. One of the things that you'll probably want to do uh, before you even begin is to figure out how many windows you have of that same style. Um, in my case, um, I have five down here that are of the same style. And I learned that by basically measuring the height of it as well as the width of it. Um, and then I'm going to know exactly that the balancers are going to be the same between all of those. Um, the style that I had downstairs is actually different than the style I have upstairs in my house. Um, and I actually have two different styles upstairs in my house. Um, so this, the following seven steps that we go through, I actually went through with each style, but I only had to do it with one window of each style. So hopefully that saves you a little time. All right, step one is to remove the window. So to do that, you likely have little blocks up the top that just pop out. Unlock the window. Oh. And then you'll wanna open up these little tabs, which are in here, and they should just pop out. You might need a screwdriver. Um, I'm able to do it with just my finger. So. Once you have those out, you just raise the window up. And shift it to one side. And then pull it on out. And the window's out. All right, for step two, it's to remove one of the balancers. So I'm gonna grab this one over here. And to remove it, you basically just pull down on it. And mine are really stiff, so um, which is why they need to be replaced. So it's kind of tough. And then let it go gently back up until you kind of feel the pressure. And then the little hook should slide out of the slot there. And now you have the balancer out. The next step is to then measure the balancer. We'll start by measuring the width of the balancer. In this case, I'm about at a half inch. And then you'll want to measure just the metal section of the balancer. In my case, this one is just over 26 inches. It's like 26 and almost an eighth, but probably pretty close to 26 inches. Next, we want to note the top and bottom pieces. So this is where it's great to probably and a cell phone will work, but get a little camera and just take a picture of the top and the bottom sections so that you know what the style looks like. You'll need to know that when you're ordering it online. The next step is then to measure the width of the bottom shoe, at least for the mill guards that I'm doing. So I can see here that it's almost exactly one inch wide. And finally, you can put this back in if you'd want, once you got your pictures and measurements. Start by hooking in that hook, and then again just bringing it down, tucking the tip underneath that little ledge again and putting it back to where it was. And then the last step is, while you have your window out, is to weigh it. So let's go weigh it. Okay, so we've weighed it, and now we can put it back in. So 
slide that in place, kind of equal it up, let it catch on both sides, pull it down, and then you can push your clips back in, and you can put the bumpers back in at the top, or the stoppers. I'm not sure the technical name. The next step is to go online. Obviously, I'm not being paid by anyone, um, at least not yet. If Swissco.com wanted to pay me, I wouldn't be uh, too proud not to take that money. But after doing some Google searches, I found that Swissco.com had kind of an easier website to use. Uh, so that's where I ended up going. I started by basically going to Swissco.com and then going to shop. From there, I knew that I was talking about the windows and the doors, so I go on clicking on window. And from there, I'm looking for what it calls sash support. Basically, that's where I see the balancer there that I need. At this point, um, again, I just looked across in channel balances. That's what I'm after. Uh, mine is a non-tilt. If you have a tilt, I'm not sure if this video will work for you, but uh, try with the non-tilt for, for me. Uh, next, it was the difference between a half inch and a three-eighths inch. And if you remember, we took our recordings before, and I can tell that mine was right around a half inch. So we'll click in here. At this page is where things start getting really, really tricky, and I was really glad that I took pictures with my camera so that I could refer back to because I had to go through all these different options to figure out which one was right for my window. Um, there's this option, this option, this one, this one, and this one, as well as this one, that from the top of the balancers, um, even this one over here, look very, very similar. But after looking at the little tabs that go off on the sides and things like that, I was able to narrow it down myself to this style, or this style um, and it really just kind of came down to um, mine have tabs at the top as well as tabs at the bottom um, but it's the width here between this little space out that I didn't know um, and I couldn't figure out that until I clicked in I actually clicked into series 385 at that point um, mine again was a 26 inch when I clicked in there I could tell that it had a picture right down here and it shows that it was an inch and 3 30 seconds for that width and that was the wrong size because mine was only um, about an inch so I'm going to go back to the non tilt go back into my half inch and again that means that I'm gonna be here at the 380 and again that was just determining which looks the most alike and then clicking in here, choosing my balance, uh, the width of the balance, so the length of the metal uh, that I m measured before, which again, for mine was about 26 inches. So if I click in there, um, I can see that the 26 inches matches up. I can also click well, it shows me right here, it's exactly an inch, so I'm on the right model here. Now when I scroll down, now I have to worry about the weight. And the weight is um, on mine. Weighed myself, um, plus the window, then minus myself, and that gives me 22 pounds. So I'm going to be between 19 and 25 pounds, which means that I'm going to be a 2540. So I'll select that one, and um, I'm actually, I have five windows in my house that are all basically about that same size. So I'm going to go ahead and order five times two, ten of those, and add to cart. The reason that I'm choosing to replace all of the balancers with that style 
Uh, this window is one of the ones that's actually not broken at the time. Um, one of my other windows is broken. But this one still, when I'm lifting up and down on it, you can see how it's difficult as of right now to go up and down with it. And that's just because they're starting to wear out. And if the balancers are going to wear out, I'm assuming once I get new ones, it's going to be much easier to open and close them. Uh, the house is about 20 years old. We just moved in. We didn't know that this is going to have to be replaced. Um, but now that we know that we do, we might as well replace all of them at the same time. Uh, it's just going to be way easier than having to replace one window at a time uh, when they do break because you can tell by how difficult it is to raise and lower it that it's going to have to be replaced soon. All right, so I said that I would save my rant till the end. Uh, here we are at the end, um, and here's my rant. My rant is, is that Milgard, uh, I first went to your website thinking that I would just be able to quickly and easily order some new balancers, only to find out that um, it's either not on your website at all, or it's very, very difficult to find. Uh, they come across saying that they have a lifetime guarantee. I believe that's only for the first owner. We just recently purchased this house, so I don't think that guarantee follows through to us. So we're more than happy to pay for it. Uh, the catch is, is that it's not easy to find. So that's why you'll find that I'm showing another website uh, to purchase from instead. They were much easier to work with, um, at least so far at this point. Um, and, uh, Milgard, I just, I, I don't know, I can't get over the fact that these balancers were clearly made to be replaced, even though there's a lifetime warranty on them. When you start looking at the components that are in there, those pulleys are going to wear out. I have no idea why you create something that you know that it's going to need to be replaced, but yet on your website, it's not easy to figure out how to replace them and get new ones. And again, it's, it's got a lifetime guarantee on it. So um, for those that are purchasing it directly from Milgard, just call them, make them do it. I don't know how that process is gonna be, but for those of us that aren't the, the original owners, why don't you make it easy for us just to buy from you? Um, this process of having to go through and remove the window and put it back and measure every little component and then the differences between the brands and all that is, I just can't get over the headache. Um, if it's gonna be almost exactly the same, I don't know, it just is ridiculous to me that um, there's two different styles that can be just a hair difference and that that's going to make a difference. Um, so there's my rant, uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad, uh, but um, I hope this is helpful to somebody else. Anyway, thanks so much.